Hello there, welcome back to IAS Tech. In this video, I am going to show you how to validate your checkboxes in Angular 17 by using standalone components. So this is my project that is already running. I will just quickly create a new component to hold my code related to it. So I am creating the checkbox example component by running the ngc command by using Angular CLI that has just generated my folder that you can see and within that folder we'll start writing our code so first of all open the html file and in that i am going to create an input of type checkbox and then let's add the ng model and give it a property is checked that we will define shortly also this will not work because we did not import the forms module yet as we are using standalone component you can directly import the forms module in the imports array of this component so let's do that save it and now in the html it is complaining about the missing property we will define it shortly so now next we will wrap this input in the label tag so let's do that okay now i am adding some text for this label accept terms and conditions okay now let's define this property in my component ts file and by default i will give it the false value okay now in the html file i will add the required attribute you can either add the square bra bracket around it to add the boolean value or you can just remove the square bracket just add a regular required attribute it will just work okay now i'm going to wrap it inside the form tag so i just created the form tag and now i have pasted the content back and here i will add the template reference variable checkbox form and gave it the value ng form now i'm adding the if condition to check if form is invalid and the input was touched or the form was touched then i will display my error message okay so this message will not be displayed if form is valid okay so next i am going to register my submit event so i will call the on submit function that i will define shortly whenever the form is submitted and after the if condition i will add my submit button so the type would be submit for this button now let's go to the component class file and here i will define my function on submit and within that function i will add my if else condition if uh the form is valid or invalid but we cannot access the form yet in this area because our form is accessible through the uh, template reference variable and we have to access it with the help of the view child decorator in our class so let's create the view child so make sure to import the view child and then you can just type view child and give it the same uh, name in the string that you gave to the template reference variable in the html and the variable name can be anything i made it optional to get rid of the error and here in the line number 17 i have made, checked if this form is available and if form is valid then show an alert that form is valid otherwise if it is invalid then show an alert that form is invalid okay now save it and we will test in the browser so actually it is not work yet because we did not add this component in our parent component that is app component yet so in the app component ds file i will simply import my newly generated component that is checkbox example component and here in the html i will simply now use it app dash checkbox dash example and you can see that it is now visible so if i click on the submit button form is valid is showing and in other case it is still showing the form is valid that means there is some problem that we have to fix so let me just add an alert to debug the problem i just added that in alert it is in every case it is showing true so that is wrong we must have done some mistake so in the html actually we forgot to add the name property in the input 
when you are using the forms module ng model you must have to provide the name property name attribute in the input otherwise it will it will not work so i just added the name is equal to name is equal to terms and now you can see if i blur from the uh, focus of checkbox it will immediately show the error message okay now it is showing the error message correctly so if you hit the submit button it show the alert message but if you focus the if if you focus on the checkbox and uh, blur from it then it will check that uh, touched and it is not valid then it will show you the error message so when you hit the submit button it does not show the error message so that's why uh, we have to add a line of code instead of showing the alert i will uh, intentionally trigger the touch effect so that it would uh, show the error message if you hit the submit button so you will not do anything if there is an error and you will simply display the error so this is a function mark or mark all as touched if you call that then in that form it will mark it as done uh, mark it as touched and if that is happen if that happens then it will the condition would be true in the html and it will show the error message so in the html you see we have added the touched condition and the invalid invalid is already true uh, but the touched was false we made it true by calling the function in the ts file that we just added so that's it you have now created a stand alone component with a checkbox input and added validation to ensure that the checkbox is checked before the form submission i hope that this video was useful for you please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming videos also please like and share this video this helps me to motivate to create more videos in the future also if you have any questions or feedback or thoughts that you want to share then please leave them in the comment section below thanks for watching see you next time goodbye